Hello folks. In this video, we're going to cover how to import your database and create price contracts or price cards for your properties. The next step after we do this, we'll be attaching those to a property we create. So as a quick recap, we have a database here and we have our pricing contracts. Um, these are very similar in the fact that they can look the same. They can all have the exact same products, but the purpose of having these two different ones is your database is kind of the master catalog. It's every single product and labor charge you have. Pricing contracts are a smaller version of those potentially that contain a specific amount of products that is specified for a particular customer or property in this case. So once we create a property, we can attach a specific price contract or price card, depending on the terminology, to that property. And when they go to create a quote or an order, they will only have access to the products and pricing from the price contract. It will not access everything from the database. That can be thousands and thousands of products. Price contract can be a handful, maybe a hundred, whatever is needed. So what we can do here is a couple of different things. I'm going to show you both ways on how to bring a database in and a price contract. Steps are very similar. So from the screen here, what we can do is create one from scratch. We can hit new and then just fill this out. You're likely familiar with measure square iPad or maybe the windows version. This menu is exactly the same. It's you can, uh, select the trade, the type for what particular type of product this is, you know, hardwood, the roll good, wall base transitions. SKU is just the unique name field, so you can fill that out however you use your naming schemes. Uh, you know to measure and so on. So you can fill all this out and hit save at the bottom. No need to do that at the moment. Um, the easier way is, is import it from measure score. So plenty of people will edit their product database and sync it to other users using our cloud. Um, since I'm signed in with a measure score ID, I have access to that data on the cloud. Um, as a note, you can think of property link as a layer above our cloud if you're familiar with it. So if I want to bring in the existing database, I'm going to select import from M2 at the top right. And it's just going to access our cloud and I have two here currently. So I'm going to select say M2 products as an example and select import. Now, depending on the size of the database, um, we'll determine how long it takes. It's usually pretty quick. So now we have all of my products here and I can just scroll through them at the bottom. Easy filters up here at the top. So if I want to edit anything, edit any of these, we can do that as well. Just click on the pencil icon and I can go through and edit these. An important point. This imported it from our measure score cloud database. If I edit these, it does not push those changes back to the original database. This is a simple one way import. Anything I do in proper link does not push back to the measure score cloud uh, project files or databases or anything like that. So it's a good disconnect. So you can make changes here, not worry about it affecting anything else. So this is essentially how we create our database. Now, if we go into our pricing catalog or sorry, pricing contract, in this case, similar looking menu, I can hit new or I can do import from M2. So what I'm going to do first is since we already went through the new, I'll just go through import from M2 and very similar methods. So maybe I'll just bring Holly apartment hit next. And this is where we can name it. So I can change the name if I need to, uh, you can add automatically add material tax, use tax, labor tax. Um, and you can always edit these after the fact. And then if there's any um, legalities or pricing contract info that you're going to want later on, you can always add it in here. So just do a quick copy and paste. You got some basic uh, text editing tools in here too, if you need to format it specifically. Um, and then when we're done here, just select import, same idea. So I scan everything and now creates a single line item. But now if we want to go, if I want to edit those steps we just did, hit the pencil right back to that same menu. If I want to go in and view the products, for these, I can select the name Holly Street. I'm in a very similar looking menu as I was for the database. So I basically did the exact same step. I just took a database from the measures for cloud, brought it in here, uh, but I can bring it. It's two different levels we're working with. So if I want to edit anything in here, I can hit this pencil icon again, see that same uh, info from before. 
So like I was saying before, if we want to bring in something from that database and bring it in here, so that master catalog, I can just select the import products. And this is going to access that main database and bring that in here. Now, one of the main purposes of this is that maybe you created the database uh, and edited it. And now you want to bring those changes over here. Or, you know, you have a particular product and you want to bring it into this one, but you want to change the pricing. So, and you don't want to create from scratch, you know, save some time. So let's say, for example, I wanted to bring in this, let's go ahead and pick a carpet. Let's say this particular 560 carpet. And I'm going to bring this guy in, just hit the checkbox and hit save. So good uh, message. If I have if this already happened to exist, I likely just imported the same thing twice. Um, I can say overwrite or ignore. I'm going to say overwrite just for our case so we can go through this. And then I'm going to go ahead and find that. So type in 560. And the nice part about this is since, let's say I gave this property a discount from the original price. So let's say I want to adjust the sales price to, let's say, 45 bucks. I can easily hit the pencil, come in here, and I'll just change this to 45. Hit save. And if I want to make this a duplicate and not affect the quote unquote original one here, I can do a save as. In this case, I'm already in the pricing contract. I'm going to do a save. So now I can do a save that changed to 45. And if we go back into the database where this originally came from, the database will still say the original price. So just as a quick check, database. So as a quick check, five, I'm going to go to that 560 product and we see it's original 54. Go back in that pricing contract, Holy Street, go to the 560, and you can see it's at 45. So exact same product, all the details are the same, except I just changed the price. So now I have a un unique price of the same product for this particular property, and you can just rinse and repeat this process. So you can create as many contracts as you want. Um, out of the existing database, or just if you happen to create that smaller contract already on Vision Square, as you can have multiple databases, um, you can import that one as well to save some time. So you don't have to import uh, all the different products from here, but both are very viable options just depending on the uh, end result or how you have your setup on the cloud. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more great content like this. Thank you and happy measuring.